Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I am your host, and I'm very pleased to welcome back my next guest. He is Peter Harrison from Helm. How are you? Hi, Ria. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. The news broke that you and your business partner, Simon Morgan, have regained control of Helm after just having sold it two years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, but, you know, great to be back in control and being able to steer the company in the direction we want. So, yeah, very excited to share that news and thank you, come on, to the future. Well, you guys had a tremendous 2022, did you not? Yeah, it was awesome. It's funny, we go back to sort of 2015 when I was working from my parents' house in my bedroom and just having sort of ideas as to, to where this could go and, and to see the kind of turnover and bookings that we were doing in 22 was like it was awesome it was like pinch yourself moment almost so to get to that stage where growing to that level is awesome to see the growth that we've had over the years so so yeah very proud so what sets you apart from everybody else out there i don't know really i think we do really focus a lot on making sure that we only offer sort of like boats or supplies that, that we know and trust and being able to, I would actually say this to our customers a lot of the time, is why your holiday is very valuable in time and money. So why waste your precious time on holiday on a boat that could be not suitable for you? So that we do really try and do a lot of due diligence on on making sure we can offer and do offer the, the best boats out there. And ultimately as well, the way I see it is, if a customer has a good time, they're more likely to come back and chance with us again or tell their friends. So it's very important for us. In this past year, what has been the one thing that sort of stands out for you right now as far as popularity goes in charter? To be honest, it's always a bit of a mix. You have kind of seen, certainly since COVID, there's been sort of a progression to people wanting to get out there and explore a bit more. So Dot Charter is kind of like the perfect holiday for that because you are sailing somewhere new every day, seeing different places and actually you know, so many different activities you can do with water sports, wine tasting, um, go for a hike, cycle ride. There's, there's so much you can do. And people just are really sort of to start to understand that there's more to a holiday than just sat in an all-inclusive hotel and on a deck chair, bathing, soaking up the sun. People are really keen on, on actually experiencing stuff. And I mean, I'm obviously incredibly biased, but, you know, it is the ultimate holiday. There's no better holiday than a yacht charter. And, you know, exactly for those reasons, but being at, getting to get out there, get active and, and actually experience stuff rather than just sitting, seeing it. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of different core types of people, groups, then it's always been for us, families, groups of friends. Perhaps we do a lot of honeymoon charters as well. There's, yeah, it's a mixture of everything. So we I wouldn't say we have a specific type client that we have. When you say honeymoon charters, I have to laugh because just the other day while I was doing my research, I saw an article come up that bachelor parties and bachelorette parties are no longer the type of parties that we used to have back in my day as I date myself here. But it is now becoming something where they do charter a yacht for an entire weekend. I mean, it is sometimes even more expansive than the honeymoon. Well, I mean, I haven't actually read that, but I'm actually trying to organize a stag do for one of my friends at the moment. But yeah, it is a, they can vary massively. And we do occasionally get the odd inquiry for, for that for a boat trip. But generally, most, most charter boats, at least, are certainly the ones that we try and book. They're quite restrictive in that it's like a week minimum, which kind of doesn't usually always work for a stag or a hen party. But yeah, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's the market we should tap into. So I, I haven't heard that. Okay. Well, it turns out that a lot of kids are staying at home now until they're like 35 or 40. So they have all this massive disposable income that they, you know, if I stayed at home yeah, until yeah. I was 35. Yeah. I mean, you could afford that kind of stuff. Yeah. Good old bank of mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, most of my friends live in London, so we're, we're different, different yeah. to that. So very bad. But yeah, but may, maybe that's right. Yeah. Well, it's, it's more of a North American trait, for sure. I mean, uh, in the exactly. US and Canada. So how is that? Because I know when we had our conversation last year, the bulk of your marketplace was more European and you were sort of heading in to break into the North American marketplace. How has that gone for you? Yeah, when, was, we, we, uh, yeah, when we last spoke, we, I was actually uh, exhibiting at the Annapolis Yacht Show 
in October. And yeah, it's, it's been great. We've always loved our American clients and we've been trying to focus and do more over that side of the pond. But yeah, they're awesome. And we've been steadily growing in, in, in that area. Generally, Americans know what they want and that ma makes our life quite easy. So yeah, and a, a lot of them do really resonate with kind of our values of equality. And we're offering a service for telling you that this is the best option for you. We know you we've asked you what you want to do, what you're looking for, who's going, and we've outlined these are the best options for your trip and the, and why. And they generally really resonate with that and it does make our life quite easy. It can't say I look forward to growing more in, in America in the future. One thing that is really huge out there and what has been for the past few years, but a lot of sort of companies tend to hashtag it. Are you looking at more sustainable charter practices? Are you finding that some of your potential guests are asking for sustainable charter? I mean, yes and no. It's, I think it's, I think maybe your charters, are, it's definitely going that direction. It's just, I think the main reason is that the, the product isn't necessarily there yet. So because it's quite far behind, like compared to like electric cars, for example, there isn't because there's not a product available, then there's the, the customers aren't asking for it. So I do think it's going in that direction. And actually, I've actually just had a client who's just bought a boat and there's this new technology, which is meaning that your average charter boat, Catamaran, you can install these big battery packs and run the air conditioning overnight and then recharge it using solar panels in the day. And obviously battery technology is increasing, getting better on a month by month basis. And so you can have this massive store of power, which can then mean you can run the air conditioning silently without a generator, which just gives you that real freedom to use a lot less fuel during your charter. So I think as that technology progresses, then yes, more and more people will be asking for it. And being ahead of the curve of that is going to be essential. That also does carry though through onto the yacht as far as not having plastic water bottles and making sure that, for example, your cleaning supplies are sustainable or the cheek that goes into that yacht is sourced correctly and ethically. Is that happening now? Yeah, absolutely. And you, you do see it, it becoming more more prominent. So you do see like some yachts saying, oh, well, our material, our upholstery was created by recycled plastic, sea plastic and stuff like that, and trying to get to engines that are more economical to using less fuel. So yeah, it's definitely going in the right direction. And I think that's, again, another reason, like I said at the start, like we do a lot of due diligence and making sure we're booking our customers with, with the best boats or the best suppliers. And that's another focus that we do consider. What is this company doing differently to others and why should we send our customer to them? So, so yeah, it's definitely an area for growth, I think. So is there anything that you offer your clients in regards to, say, their carbon footprint when they book with you? Yeah, so actually, maybe late last year, we actually partnered with a company called Earthly and we are able to offer carbon offsetting for a lot of our clients. So basically, we take the fuel they've used during the charter, they just tell us how much and we can give them options for how they want to off offset it. Whoever wants to try and go a bit more stable, a bit more into the green direction, I think it's things like that are going to really take off in the coming years. So to be able to offer that is, is really great and I'm excited to, to do that more in the future. So, Peter, what does the 2023 charter book look like this year? Yeah, we, we're scared really well. We had a fantastic Q1 and definitely again up again compared to last year. But we're just like so excited to be back in control. Our main focus was to, to be able to deliver the charters for our customers that have already booked. Also, all of our repeat customers and be able to be booking great charters for them, as well as like looking after our staff and making sure we kept their employment through this difficult process. So, so yeah, it's fantastic to be able to be sat here and, and back in control of the company we started. Also, just continue the growth trajectory that we've had over the last couple of years and on into the future. Peter, I must offer again my congratulations to both yourself and your co-founder, Simon, and I'm wishing you, of course, an amazing 2023. We'll have to get back together in a year from now and see where things are at that stage. Yeah, it sounds really good. A pleasure to speak to you again. You've been watching another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I have been your host. We'll see you again next time.